Welcome to Rapunzel's Mother. Today we're going to be demonstrating for you the twisted waterfall braid with curls. And this is how it goes. Now you can see I'm starting this hairstyle with the hair straight and you can start it if your hair already has a natural curl or wave to it or if you spent some time curling it overnight that's fine but we find for this hairstyle it's easier to start with the hair straight and then curl afterwards. Start by grabbing a chunk of hair from the side. Now you want this to be a decent chunk of hair because this chunk of hair we're not really going to add to it for the rest of the hairstyle and it has to make it all the way around the hair to the other side okay if you have shorter or medium length hair you're only going to be able to go for as long as that hair lasts but it still looks nice so we're just grabbing a chunk from the side we're going to split that into two so that we have two pieces there and what I love about the waterfall twist is that it's actually so much easier than the waterfall braid and you don't need one of those little alligator clips that we use throughout. Okay, so what we're going to do is take that chunk of hair and separate it into two and we're going to begin to twist the hair just with one motion. Then we're going to pick up a chunk of hair from the top, always from the top, and we're going to add that in to the hair just like that. Then we're going to let it go and twist. Just one twist is all you need. So we're just going to let that fall. Then we're going to grab another chunk of hair. So another chunk of hair from here. Add that in, then let it fall and twist. You can pull down on these strands to keep it nice and firm for you another chunk of hair add it in and twist see how I'm only twisting once each time and I'm just pulling that hair down afterwards each strand another chunk of hair and I'm just working my way around the head cross it over and twist Grabbing another chunk of hair, adding it in, twist. See how easy, easy this is? Another chunk of hair, adding it in, twist. Just turn for me, honey. Another chunk of hair, adding it in, twist. Another chunk of hair. Adding it in, twist. Now when I get to this section, just that last little piece there, you can see I've got really thin pieces here. Just pulling them down on those. So I've included that in. Can you turn just a little bit more? Other way. Great. Okay. When you get to here and you're on your last section, and I've just twisted a couple of times there, just grab a bobby pin, scooch it in, and then just tuck it down the center of the braid. And then you can just kind of Tuck that in behind the ear, just like that. Now you can see, so now you can see we've got the waterfall twist there and all that's left to do is curl it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take each of these pieces and just individually curl that with a flat iron. So we're going to do flat iron curls. If you don't know how to do flat iron curls, I'll insert a link for it here for you, but that's basically what we're going to go ahead and do. 
So as you can see, we've just finished curling it with a flat iron. So we've just got really soft, gentle curls. We didn't want anything too over the top, just something really simple. But that's it. There you have it, the waterfall twist with curls.